we are requested by the, the Central Park Conservancy to uh, participate in a competition for a, a playground in the park. Now, playgrounds have been designed in the park before this. Uh, Datner has one on 16th Street, which is really quite good, and I think it's still there, if I'm not mistaken. But the majority of the playgrounds that are put in the park were Moses playgrounds that were basically a flat asphalt surface uh, encased by a six foot, uh, uh, what is it, uh, steel picket fence with uh, spikes on top. Anyway, we were given this playground, which had a swing, the typical swing slide, maybe monkey bars, flat, it had the fence, and in looking at it, we do, the, the playgrounds that had been developed were more modern in, in nature, and they had some modern play equipment. But we said, this is Central Park, and you can't do that. This is not an urban experience. This is really a very natural. How do we create a playground that fits into the park and uses the materials that the park is made of. The stone, when you look at the wall that surrounds the park and other structures in the park, they're made out of this New York schist or something, some such name. And then how do we take, and which is more important, the activities that children enjoy and bring that to this place through design. Using design as the vehicle. Design is the, not the ultimate goal, it's the vehicle by which the ultimate goal is played. So where we are standing now is an amphitheater, which is really a place for kids to sit in a group or mothers or whoever. But moreover, it's, all, it's really, as a second level, it's a spray pool. So in the summertime, sprays are emitted out of the under uh, side of the steps. The, then we created a series of islands where kids could move around. That was the circulation. But then penetrating the islands, with stepping columns, which were very natural forms, wood forms, which we knew that after 15 years would have to be replaced. And they were. But that's the cost of creating a play environment that is interesting and exciting. Okay? And we have to weigh the two issues. One is, what are we willing to spend for the children to give them what they really should have? Or do we really put the major emphasis on on sustainability uh, uh, over a lifestyle, life cycle of the material. And obviously my preference has always been towards the child. Uh, so anyway, we create a bridge, and the bridge is very much like some of the other bridges in Central Park. So in the summertime, if we want, we can have a pool, but that the water doesn't recirculate, but it's, it, it uh, drains away. So it's a temporary situation. And when, we don't want water, it becomes a circulation. It goes back into becoming a circulation path. And we like that aspect of water because it gives you two uh, experiences within the same space. Then we came to the idea that we had within the playground a significant change of grade outside of the fence. And we thought we wanted to employ that. So we designed a slide that would integrate right into the hill to get there is, is a pathway and a separate path. You have two or three different paths of getting there. One is on both sides of the slide itself where we have footholds in the, in the granite blocks. The other is a uh, on the, is the use of, again, these stepping, we, we call stepping columns. And children learn through action. One of the activities that a young child needs in development is to learn to jump, step, simple movements that we take for granted. So within the park you have these stepping columns gives them the opportunity to step in various ways and discover. All I know is I was extremely respectful of the man who preceded me. And if I'm you know, interfering in any way with what his intention was, you know, I really was irresponsible. So my sense of it was, an, as minor an intervention, still accomplishing the ultimate goal, which is the place. Because Olmsted, fortunately or unfortunately, never designed for this age group. 
so to me it was the lighter the touch the better i think this is why we want the competition it's because all the others design a playground and we design a natural environment to play.